plaza across the stage. So, yeah, I love it. Hi, are you ready for tomorrow? Any of the questions? Bring it on. Alrighty. Let's do it. What's the first thing you thought about this morning? Probably food. <laughs> How quickly could I get to the kitchen? Um, and everything I had to do here. Name something that's part of your everyday routine. Hopefully brushing my teeth. <laughs> but <laughs> more importantly, um, I read and write every single day. That's super important to me. What's your favorite childhood memory? Yeah, I grew up playing a ton of sports, and so just like growing up in the gym with my mom and dad. In three words, describe yourself as a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I was super like spazzy. Like mm. I just love to make everybody laugh. I'm still that way. Like I just want us all to laugh all the time. So spaz. Um, I was I was kind of timid. Like I was still figuring out. I think who I am, and so I was pretty timid um, for a while, not as much anymore. And um, I hope, I really, really hope, um, like compassionate, like I've always just had a really huge heart, and so even when I was in high school, I was always thinking like, what is going on for other people? That's just really, really core to who I am, always has been. What's the story behind you becoming a school counselor? I was a private practice therapist, um, when I got out of grad school, did that for a few years. Um, we lost my mom really unexpectedly to a heart attack two and a half years ago, and my mom was a school counselor. So when my mom died, I it like completely flipped my world upside down. My best friend in the whole world, um, and I thought like, how do I continue her legacy? And my whole life, I got to watch her do this job and love kids, and I thought that's what I want to do. So I went back to grad school again, added an emphasis to my therapy degree, and now I'm here. What's the best part about your job? You guys? Well, if you weren't at work right now, where would you be and why? With my son and my husband, just like doing life. Probably in our living room, like stepping on Legos, all together <laughs> in unison. What's something that you live by? Like be thankful. Every single day, I try to figure out what I'm thankful for and fight for it and live by it. And remember, I have nothing to complain about. What's your favorite show at the moment? My like favorite TV show all the time though is Gilmore Girls. I love Gilmore Girls. Yes. It is my favorite. Do you like comedies or drama? Comedies. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Easy. <laughs> dogs. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Salty is like not even in the running on that one. <laughs> not even in the running. If you could switch lives with anybody, who would it be and why? One of my favorite authors because I, I, I love to write and I want it. I would love to know what it's like to live the life of an author. So like, Brendan Manning is one of my favorite authors. So probably like a him, or like a really kicktail WNBA player. Um, there's a ton of them, like Candace Parker or Skylar Diggs or any Sue Bird, any woman that's just like a boss on the basketball court. Um, that's what I wanted to do my whole life, and so I would love to know like what that feels like. What is your favorite snack food? Skittles. Like I always have them close by. <laughs> always. <laughs> They're always close by. What would you do if you won the lottery? Man, give it all away. What's your favorite season? Summer. What's your favorite color? Blue. If you could create any ice cream flavor, what would it be? Ah, gluten-free cookie dough. In your opinion, what's the best thing about PHS? The people. Do you, have a, do you have a lucky number? If so, what is it? 21. I don't know if I would like call it lucky, but it's my like, the basketball number I grew up with, so it's my favorite number. What's your favorite song to jam out to at the moment? <sighs> um... There's this song called Rich by Jordan, I think his name's Jordan Searcy, and it's just like a fun jam. I was actually just listening to it. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I hope I've written a book and it's out, but I want to be right here. Okay, so that's it, but thank you so much for doing the 23 questions. Absolutely. Yes.